is Chris and Michelle still talking? Chris and Michelle just got through doing an interview with The Breakfast Club. I had to make myself watch it just to see where she came from, just to give her a chance. Since we're instead of giving people chances and stuff, girl, let me see how you feel. Let me see what the true colors are. Let me see what you're really, really doing. Went on The Breakfast Club and the interview was on KingaReese.com. And she just said that she got on the stage, so although she did meet Trump because Trump wasn't even there, he got there when they were leaving, that, you know, I had a message. I had a message that I wanted to put out, you know, and I wore a, a, a dress made by a white woman with black art. And I said, black girl magic and move your hands from the side to side. Chris and Michelle, none of that shit means nothing to them, okay? None of that shit means anything. We want to know what was your message, okay? We as the black people who support you, because white folks ain't buying your music like that. White folks ain't driving out in droves buying your damn music, and neither are black folks, especially after this shit. We, we want to know if some people who have helped, you know, support you, what was your message, okay? And this man, like Charlamagne said, has been preaching hate for the last 18 months and that shit has been so successful and it's resonated with so many white people that they have put this man in the highest office in the United States of America and you went to a goddamn ball for him and you had no message, you had no type of disruptive shit going on. I'm just trying to understand, she said I want to go up there and I just want to be a, you know, I just want to go there, I want to be a beacon of hope, I just want to talk to them, I just want to, you know, show that we are here. Girl, they know what we look like, trust and believe me, they know what we look like. Chris and Michelle, she just it on for 15 minutes and she sounded very intelligent for a second when she was speaking but she was talking in circles she did call Charlamagne out for not watching it not seeing what she did Chris and Michelle in this day and age it's not enough it's not enough she was like you know and then she said Charlamagne why? Charlamagne asked why she didn't say anything like Black Lives Matter hands up don't shoot I bet the contract that she signed probably said that she couldn't do anything like that but she told Charlamagne she said why don't you do it why don't Why don't you do it why, why I got to do it you know and she said I basically don't and I, that was a good point why don't you do it Charlamagne and Charlamagne like, we do it all the time here. So she was like, well, you know, I don't think if that was the appropriate message for that. It's never the appropriate message. It's never right because we always have to conform to what they want us to do and what's safe. I'm tired. I'm just going to tell y'all this. After seeing all the shit that's going on this week, it's not even been a full week. It's not even been a full First day at the press conference, these folks told alternative damn facts that the crowd was big as hell, and we all can see that nobody barely was at that damn inauguration. Nobody was not, girl. It was empty as hell. For you to talk about, I just don't understand how we have to meet them on their level. Don't know anything about playing on the same level as us. They don't, girl. They don't. They did the system is not even built for us, so I'm understanding why are we trying to use it? Why are we even trying to have, you know, nice style of girl we've been doing that shit for years and it's not working i want everybody to be upset i want people to be upset when people say well you know violence doesn't you know do anything violence but gets violence at this let me tell y'all something whoever writing that dumb shit it must not be working because why every time somebody come and attack the united states but pearl harbor happened what did we do the japanese bombed the shit out of pearl harbor what did we do we hit the ass with two atomic bombs okay in, in japan and those individuals drove those planes into the twin towers what did we do we immediately went to war so I don't want to hear this dumb shit about let's talk it out, let's kumbaya. I'm tired. As a black man, I am tired. I'm tired of my people being the nice guy. I'm just tired of it. They all, no matter how nice we are, they still sit here and say, girl, that wasn't a peaceful protest. Y'all doing this. Let me tell you something. These people are protesting our anger. They are upset. They don't like the people saying, well, I don't understand. They're mad. They don't have anything else. They're trying to work with the system. The system is not working. Something is not right. And I was talking the other day to Adrian. I made this point that America is never going to be perfect, okay? America will never be perfect perfect. What's perfect about America is that we can continue to evolve and grow. Okay, that's what makes America perfect. There is no ceiling. There is no ceiling. Like, oh girl, we should be good here because everybody got rights. You don't know that. And these people say they're not being treated fairly. Then you, we got to work that out. We got to fix that. And that, it's going to take time and it'll never be perfect. It'll never be. Just us continuously doing it and having a conversation matter. So stop thinking just because your ass as a black man got a job or something, you making a thousand dollars a year that everything is okay people in certain places where the violence is 
They don't have jobs. They don't see anything but destruction and poverty. What do you want these people to do? These people have voted in this democratic process and look what happened. Three million more popular vote for Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump still won. We're pissed off. We're angry or we're pissed off. And girl, I don't want to hear that dumb shit, but you know, that's not how they do things. That's not. Girl, tell them when America was fighting the Redcoats and shit, girl. Tell them when they were throwing tea and shit off the damn sea and shit. Tell them with that. Tell them that shit when the South was sitting up here saying, girl, we gonna own slaves. We're not doing that dumb shit. And they were fighting the union. Girl, I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear it. We, it's gonna take some fighting. It's going to take it. I don't know why people sitting here thinking we live in a perfect world. It's not real. Okay? Now, I'm gonna give you case in point. Gospel singer Vicky Yehiel, whatever her damn name is, put up a picture and said, white Jesus is coming back to the White House. To say, okay, who's been in the White House the last eight years? Like, clearly Obama and Michelle Obama are, you know, Christians or something. Why are you sitting here? What, what are you saying in that? And now she wants to apologize. She wants to say, no, y'all, it's not like that. Girl, not only did she put a picture of Jesus coming back to the White House, he was white. I'm so tired. I'm just so tired. My point is, Chris and Michelle said that she didn't get $250,000. She didn't get $750,000. What it would look like, I'm a selling artist. I, I shouldn't be. Girl, Chris and Michelle, you want R&B divas. Like, girl, cut the bullshit out. I don't know what type of alternative universe your ass living in. And ain't nobody really checking for your ass like that. Now, what you have done, I've said people to, I done told people several times. Tell Michelle, I hope she made a good business deal because it's going to be blackballed for a minute. And I don't know how long this shit's going to be. I don't know if it's going to be very effective. But she's talking about some people support me behind closed doors. Yes, they do, girl, because they don't want to be associated with your ass, girl, because they know you're going to go downhill. So that little money that Donald Trump or whoever paid you to perform and tap dance and shit with shirts on with, you know, black faces on that black, white folks can't even see. And you didn't even get a chance to even shake this man's hand. She's talking about she wanted to have a stand. And she contradicted herself time and time and time again. Barbie, go. Just walk me down. She said she was a sheep in wolf's clothing. How are you in the wolf in the sheep clothing, girl? You didn't even get to the damn meat. The meat was not even there, girl. Your dumb ass wasn't even she, bitch. You were a lamb. Bye. A fool. A fool, girl. You really thought you were doing something, so you had no message. You didn't do anything. It's not like, okay, and I compare this because I kind of was a little bit upset with um, Beyonce when she performed for the Country Music Awards. But Beyonce has already been talking mad stuff. She had already been, you know, my daddy, Alabama, on the Super Bowl doing this and that. She already been disrespectful as hell. It's her art, okay? So when she went on there, she had the Dixie Chicks who dragged the shit out of um, George Bush several years ago. Oh, it was just like, girl, I'm here. I'm going to sing y'all music, honey, but I ain't pressed about y'all, honey. And they dragged, they were mad at Beyonce. Oh, them white people didn't like the fact that she was up there. They were pissed off. She was speaking out against police brutality and stuff, and they didn't like that, but she still performed. So, Chris and Michelle, I don't really think you have a message like that. I don't know if you've been preaching that or anything. So, when you got up there, it was just all done and void. You didn't have a conversation with him. Like Chris and Michelle said her family didn't disown her and da da da. I bet they did. I bet they did. So, girl, you talking about when they called your ass, and you said yes. You didn't think this out. You didn't think this through, and now you're going to have to suffer. It's a, it's unfortunate. But then this day and age, I'm going to tell y'all something. These artists need to have some type of position because we are living in a different time. Man has just wiped shit clean. So it's just like, what if we going to give him a chance? He said, fuck y'all chance, bitch. I'm not playing Monopoly with y'all ass. I'm going to make the own rules. I'm going to make it trump properly. And, girl, We've been trumped down, and it's gonna be a hard couple of years. I don't know how to even get in front of this camera and tell y'all how we're gonna do it, but I know we're gonna make it. But I will tell y'all this, you need to be registered to vote now. You need to, if you don't think this shit is serious, girl, you must not live through the recession, girl. I'm telling y'all, all this stuff that he's scaling back on, regulations and stuff and that, I'm telling y'all, these folks that are in office, these billionaires want to make money. These billionaires are going to make coin, girl. Anyway, shape or form. So girl, if y'all don't get your ass out of vote, and make a difference, y'all got to do it. We just got to do it. So with that being said, Chris and Michelle is still counsel, pending transaction. Counsel girl, um, bad check. I'm not checking for her ass, okay? Cool said Michelle, bye. So while we talking about this, it's only important I touch on Ricky Smiley's son making that derogatory comment to black women saying that, you know, there was an episode on the Ricky Smiley show, uh, the, you know, the TV show that comes on TV, I don't watch it. Someone sent me a clip and I watched it. And his son just said, you know, 
this one of his my friends or something was trying to hook him up. A friend or brother was trying to hook him up with some black girls and stuff. And he was like, man, come over here. I'm just not interested in um in them like that. I just don't find them attractive. I see them as my sister. Um, you know, I see them as my sister. I don't really find them. I like them foreign, and, you know, Mexican. It's the same type of dumb shit that these rappers be having in their videos, girl. I don't think people understand. What does foreign mean? mean like, what does foreign mean? What is exotic? I'm just so tired of this shit. Your mother is black. Sit here saying that you don't find black women attractive. And when y'all sit here say, well, it's his preference, his preference, and it's prejudice, okay? It's prejudice. Unless you have talked to every black woman in the world, you cannot say that you are not attracted to black women. That will mean that you have to talk to each one of them. You can't sit up here and just group all of them together. You cannot. It's prejudice. You're being, very, you're being prejudiced. I don't think that Ricky Smiley said, you know, um, the producers and stuff kind of, you know, pulled him in. Uh, even if he said he had a conversation, I think he had a conversation with his son, but stuff like that makes me question where does he get that thinking from? Where did he learn this type of stuff? Because you're not born with that type of stuff. Shit is taught to you. It's crazy. For you not to be attracted to people to look like you, it's a problem. I don't care what people say. I don't care about interracial dating. I have talked to a white guy before. I talked to a, a Native American before. And when you sit here and say, oh, black folks, you know, I don't find none of them attractive. There's a problem and you have some internalized issues that you need to address and fix and you need some damn counseling. But Ricky Smiley's son, um, he's counseled, um, pending transaction as well. Um, girl, I just got her ass on hold, girl. You need to put four, five hundred dollars down to spend just one night, okay? And that's not even including the price of the room. I'm just not checking for her right now. I'm just not checking for Ricky Smiley's son, that was some dumb, idiotic shit. If y'all ain't out here teaching y'all children to love black women, you have a problem.